On this first trading day since Friday's earthquake and tsunami, Japanese markets took a tumble in early trade. Manisha Tank is following that part of the story, and she joins us now with more on the cost of Japan's disaster. It's just enormous, isn't it? Yes, that's uh, definitely what we're hearing, Rosemary. And the Japanese stock market in particular will be a gauge for us as to how investors view the government and the central bank's economic efforts in the aftermath of this quake. Uh, we can actually look at the numbers, and you mentioned that there's been a strong sell-off at the outset. That's very much what we expected. Uh, the Nikkei down almost 6% now, extending the losses as the morning goes on. Insurance companies, of course, have been especially hard hit. There are still a lot of unknowns. However, we do have this nuclear crisis that's unfolding, which could really spook investors, depending on the outcome. We'll be watching it very closely. Now, the Bank of Japan took the unprecedented move of pumping 12 trillion yen. That is about 146 billion U.S. dollars into the market in one go. Now, pumping this kind of cash has uh, into the market has a number of effects. It means money will be readily available to facilitate purchases and transactions. The perhaps greater short-term impact is to bolster confidence in the stock market and stem any huge losses. Psychologically, that's really important right now. Now, meanwhile, in the currency markets, we'd seen some initial strength in the yen. Talk is that firms looking to repatriate funds in preparation for the rebuilding effort have been selling US dollars and other currencies and buying yen. However, the Japanese currency has pulled off of those earlier highs. And some of that may be to do with the fact that we've seen this strong cash injection by the Bank of Japan. They're clearly taking measures to stabilize the currency at is what, uh, in what is a very volatile period for these markets. This is an export-led economy we're talking about. Some of the country's biggest exporters, familiar names like Toyota and Nissan, currently have some 20 factories or so out of action in the affected areas. So it is important that firms get access to the cash that they need to resurrect their operations quickly and efficiently.